Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Um, well, wel welcome back. Um, yeah, once again with the ponytail, you know, you wouldn't notice. So, um, I know, I'm just, I'm not doing another movie review, but um, I just wanted um, I'm doing another uh, trailer reaction. I know, but um, um, on of course I'm doing on um. Uh, Transformers for Age of Extinction. I know it's only a month before before it comes out, though. But I want to do this for quite a bit after seeing the first and second trailers. You know when they, when those came out. So, um, but we'll give give a quick insight on the Transformers franchise. You know because um, when the first when the first film came out, you know liked it okay. Then when the second film came out, a little less, you know, didn't but I did not did not did not like uh, I did not like the humor that was in it in in Revenge of the in Revenge of the Fallen, you know, and then number three wasn't a big wasn't wasn't a big fan of that one, you know, hour of no action, but then of course towards what towards the end then there were some actions that I, comes to the action that I did like, you know. Um, but, the, well now, and now it comes with another, one, our fourth one, Age of Extinction. Once again, Michael Bay directing, you know, and you probably know how I feel about Michael Bay, because in a couple of, uh, one, uh, my video, um, of my big rant of the trailer of the new upcoming, uh, Teenage Moon Ninja Turtle with him producing it, you know. And it's because it goes to show I've had, like I said, in my review, in my in my video, I said I've had it with Michael Bay, and I I am still am, I I have had it with Michael Bay. I just wish I just wish he could stop. I just wish he just stop directing the, these Transformer films, in which I also read they're also going to make a fifth and a sixth one. I don't know if Michael Bay's direct. I don't know if Michael Bay's going to go still going to be directing those. I just hope not. I just hope he's not. Still gonna be directing those. It goes as I just goes as I just wish that Michael Bay, you know, I wish he can make make the films like he, like his earlier films, you know. I wish he could make films like Bad Boys One and Two. I consider those I consider those oh, his best films, you know. I enjoy Bad Boys One and Two. And I know there was talk about a third Bad Boys Two, but since now the, all this with Michael Bay, no, I have no hope for a third for a third Bad Boys film. Not anymore. And I also wish he could make films like he like he did with The Rock. I really do enjoy The Rock. Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage, and Ed Harris. I enjoy The Rock a lot. Um, I wasn't a, I wasn't a big fan of Armageddon or Pearl Harbor, but I think and also um, well, like last year I did actually did like Pain and Gain though, but. But also, they also we, I wish he could make a film like he'd like um the island. I really, really do enjoy the island, and I also think that's I think it's a completely underrated Michael Bay film. And that was the only Michael Bay film that flopped. That was a box office bomb, you know. That film was a big box office bomb, and they didn't deserve it. I really, absolutely love the island. You know, I wish, to me, to me personally, I think that I wish that movie, I wish that movie can make the money that the Transformers film did. You know, any of them. For me personally, you know, because uh, cause that's, I think that's that's is that's Michael Bay's most underrated film, The Island. Good, good casting: Ewan McGregor, Scarlett Johansson, Steve Buscemi, um, Sean Bean, which who actually liked in that film. Sean Bean and Michael Clark Duncan a small appearance, you know. So, I wish I wish, it's me I wish Michael Bay can make can make films like he did with Bad Boys One and Two, The Rock, and um, The Island, you know. Especially The Island. But now we now we made with his Transform films and him producing, uh, him producing, you know. Um, the Ninja Turtles film, and he was also for executive producer for a lot of horror film remakes, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake I, which I actually do enjoy, uh, Friday the 13th, 
that I do like, and but Nightmare on Elm Street, and the Amityville Horror, and the, especially the Hitcher remake, all those three films sucked. You know. So, but anyway, getting to this um tra tra uh, trailer ra uh, trailer action. This is gonna this is gonna be a rant. You know. Because, like I said, I guess, I guess I just, this is a film I just don't want to see, you know. So, it, it comes out June 27th, though, but I don't, I have no hope of seeing this, though. But, 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 uh, you know, but, but I'm sure that my brother, you know, he, he'll, he, I know he wants to see it, you know. I know, I know, I know he's going to force me to see it with him, you know, but I don't care. So... And, if, and so on that of the film, it stars Mark Wahlberg, which Michael Bay used him in Pain and Game, but, but Mark Wahlberg is in this, which I'm not a big fan of Mark Wahlberg. I did like him in Pain and Game, but that was it. That's only like one film I like Mark Wahlberg in. In my, and that's the only that's the only film I have of Mark Wahlberg that I have in my entire DVD collection. You know, as it goes to show, I'm not. It goes it goes, it goes to show that. Uh, I'm not a fan of Mark Wahlberg, you know. I only have, my Pain Again is the only film I have with Mark Wahlberg, and that's it. So, yeah, so that's why I'm not I'm not a fan of Mark Wahlberg, you know. And but a little, let me get to it uh, as I, as I go as I go along. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell how I feel about when the first when the first uh, trailer came out, you know. Okay. Um, always on what I'm looking at. I, 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 I written some, I written some stuff down in case I, cause I, cause I forget. Cause a lot of time my videos, you know, when I finish with those, um, there comes times, you know, when I, um, when I've already did a video, I just, it, something that comes to mind is like, oh god, I should have said that in my video, you know. So this time I, I, I written some stuff down in case I forget, you know. So, um, so, uh, so the film starts out, you know, starts with um. With uh, Mark Mark Wahlberg, who's a who's a father who lives on his farm, and they, I think it's tech I think it's Texas because he said I think he said a line that says "Don't mess with Texas." I think. And right at the bed, there, there's there's this big billboard sign that says "Remember Chicago." Remember Chicago is what happened in the third Transformers film, Dark of the Moon. You know all the the destruction in Chicago. You know. And. And it me tells you know say that okay um yeah I do I will I will, yeah, I will remember what happened in Chicago but I don't think you need personally I don't think you don't need to advertise it to the world you know oh remember Chicago remember Chicago you know you know oh, by the way Fritos I haven't so. Yeah, so I don't think you, don't think you need to advertise what happened in Chicago. You know, we, we think we already know what happened. So the next thing, uh, Mark Wahlberg, he's towing this um big old this old um, ri um semi truck rig, you know. And you know he's he's gonna he says like he's he's like um this is he's got um, sell parts. I'll get his daughter off to college, and his daughter played by another uh, typical you know. Hot teenager, you know, which I'm getting tired of, you know. And really enough, that's the that was the that was the that was the girl who was in the last Airbender film, which I did not like. You know, and and my Shyamalan directing, who should retire from direct from directing. Yeah, but that, that's 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 who's playing the daughter of Mark Wahlberg in this film. And. And when uh, and so it's mis it may sound funny, but um, when I, when I first saw like, when I first when I didn't know who she was though, because until I, until I looked it up though, I was like, is that the girl from number three? You know, the one who was uh, Shia Buff's new girlfriend, you know. But but I know I know but I know it wasn't though. But it's just like was like was like is that is that is that, the, is that the girl from number three? No, it couldn't be though. It's like <laughs> so. But uh, but it really wasn't though. No, it was the girl from the Last Airbender. So and see here. Da, da, da. 
This is why I have the paper because I'm starting to forget stuff already. That's why I, that's why I have notes here. So, and oh yeah. And then the next thing, you know, and the next thing, you know, after that, I shows. Like when the next, like in the next, um, from the from. Can't forget for what it was worth, Mark. I know it was in like I know it was like, like I know it was like thirty seconds in though, but um, you see, you see okay, wait, there's a shot where there's a there's a shot where Mark Wahlberg's like um, you know, like uh, welding something, you know. Yeah, he has a welding helmet that's that has the American flag on it, right? Okay, and and then next he he's standing outside his house and he has American and he has American flag, you know. <laughs> the next shot, you know, he's in his barn, and and right behind him, like in that corner back there, there's an American flag hanging down. Three times, there's a, there, you see the American flag three times. One, uh, a welding helmet on his front porch, and in his barn. Personally, this is those ridiculous. Okay, I think you're, I think you're overdoing it. I get, it, you know, I know, it's, I know America, you know, resemble America. I know that. And I and I and I know I like America, but that was that was I think that was that was pushing it a little too much, you know, Michael Bay, you know. I think you're just you're trying to push trying to push it a little too much of showing the of Mer, showing the American flag. I know what trying to be patriotic and everything, but that was ridiculous, you know. Yeah, she sing you sing it once and you sing it a second time, and you sing it a third time. That was just ridiculous. Okay. <sighs> You know, one time would have been enough. You know, my I think I've been fine with just showing it when it was on his front porch because you know everybody has, most people have American flags on their on outside their house. I think I've been fine with that. You need to show it as a welding helmet and standing behind standing behind him in that corner there in the barn. But what do I know? Um, and 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 when some. And when in some um, some federal, I think it's some federal people showing up and they're asking Mark Wahlberg, um, where is Optimus Prime? And then shows all about which is Optimus Prime coming out, uh, exp um, jumping out of that barn. And I'm like, that's Optimus Prime. That was that old piece of crap truck, rusted up piece of crap truck. That was him. Which I didn't, I did not get. Why would um, Optimus Prime disguise himself as an old piece of junk like that? You know, going going from that cool, cool-looking truck from all three films, from the first three films, and he goes to disguise himself. Why would he disguise himself as an old piece of junk like that? I think it's been like a few years since the first film, but I don't, I don't know what happened between them. You know, I which I know they will explain the movie, but 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 for, but, but for seeing it from the trailer, I'm thinking, why would he why would he disguise himself as an old piece of junk like that? I have no idea. So and then and then and then oh you know, Stanley uh, Stanley Tucci Stanley Tucci and he's and he's saying. We don't we don't need you anymore. And I, I swear I thought that I thought that I swear I thought that happened number three when when um they're telling the we when they're telling the was we don't need you anymore. That's why they set him up in this, they set him up in that same as that space in that spaceship you know before the Decepticons blew it up you know. But. Why would you say we well, we don't need you anymore after they saved the world three times in the three films, you know? Yeah, we don't need you anymore, you know. We don't we we you just you guys only saved our plan three times, you know, in the, in the first three films, you know, but we don't need you anymore. We we got it, you know, we got it. Stupid line, you know. And I love and I like Stanley Tucci, you know, I like him as an actor though, but you know, I liked him in the core, and and in my in, did my review of Beethoven. You know, I thought he was pretty funny in, in Beethoven, and I didn't mind him in Captain America: The First Avenger. You know, 
and I, but I, and I know my brother. He my brother. He likes him in that comedy film, The Devil Wears Prada. I know, I know, I know. He was in, and my my brother actually likes that film. And but you know, and but it's, and and then it, and then it cuts to um. And oh, this uh, I think it's, I think it's another another Decepticon that has like a, a gun that's like can shoot at from his face, you know. And then I see. And then I see once again, uh, Optimus Prime gained shot once again. Literally got shot once again through his chest. Isn't Optimus Prime supposed to be a badass? From what I've seen all the three in the films, he hasn't been. Here's what here's what he, here's what happened in the, in, the, in the first film. He got he he got his ass kicked in in number one by Megatron, and then Shia LaBeouf had to step in with the use the cube you know to kill Megatron. You know, Mothra's Prime didn't didn't stop him. No, Shia, Shia LaBeouf was using the cube to stop Megatron. Most of the time he got he got his, he got his butt whipped. And then number and then number two, Revenge of the Fallen, Land, he died, you know. He 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 died in it, and you know, but then later I resurrected. But I'm saying, but he he was he's fighting a bunch of the Decepticons, and they and he gets bucket and he dies. And then and now in number three, Dark Side of the uh, Dark Side Dark of the Moon, he still gets his he still gets his butt kicked, and Sen Sentinel Sentinel Prime rips his arm off, and then have Megatron save him. But then he defeats Megatron real easily. In like five seconds, he defeats him like that, which it, it took him so hard. To do, to, it was so hard to fight him off in the previous two films. But yet, yeah, in five seconds, boom, just decapitates him just like that. Stupid. Yeah, and again, he got his arm ripped off by Sentinel, Sentinel Prime. Let's see. Let's see what else, what else that I wrote. To me, to me, the throw the to me, the throw the three films. You know, he was he's not acting like a, he was not he was not acting so great and kicking butt. You know, the whole time he's just acting like a wimp. He gets he gets his butt kicked real real easily like a wimp. And that's when you see the tra in the, in the trailer. He gets shot once again. <sighs> I was like, this is where they turn out this prime. He's turning it. They turn him such a weak, a weak link, you know. Who who cannot who cannot who cannot fight, you know. Well, except in that one scene, you know, we scan his jetpack in number, number three, and then he's just taking jetpack and boom, 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 you know. But that was it. So, and then I see the tag, and went, and as the as the. As the trail as the trail is going on there, they have a tagline like "Cold." The rules have changed, and to be honest, the rules have not changed because, for me, I'm seeing the same thing over and over again. You know, I'm seeing the same thing. You know, humans talking and talking, and you know, more spaceships. You know, doing chaos and stuff, and you know, Autobots will of course all you know doing more destruction with the Autobots and Decepticons. You know. I'm seeing the same thing over and over again. It's the same thing. Okay? The rules have not changed. It's the same thing. And then oh oh here's another here's another great thing. Oh here's here's something, you know. We see it like a spaceship, right? And then it's a suck it's a sucking stick it's, it's sucking stuff up. Sucking up uh ships and other stuff, you know. And I'm like you re you re did you re really just stole that scene from Skyline? Really? You really stole. You re you really took it. You really took an idea that was from Skyline and you ripped it off by having some other stu stuff suck up, sucked up in a spaceship. I I I I love Skyline. I do. You know. I enjoy Skyline, you know, and I w and if when I heard that they're trying to they're, they're trying to make a sequel, you know, I rather I rather I rather see that sequel I rather see a sequel to Skyline than this film, this this sequel, you know, I really would. 
Skyline, I I really do enjoy. I think it's underrated. I don't know why it gets so much um, shit from critics. You know, I don't I don't get it. And that film and that film had like a ten million dollar budget. You know, that's a, that's a ten million dollar um, budget alien invasion film. Here here this is a Transformers film. For this film is a hundred sixty five million dollars. Think about it. Transformers 4, $165 million budget, you know? Skyline had like a $10 million budget, you know, that had, that had big effects. And that was done That was done with cheaper, with a, a smaller, cheaper budget. And honestly, and and, and, I, and, I like, and, I, and I like Eric Balfour in the lead, you know? Personally, in between this and the leads, Eric Balfour is better than Mark Wahlberg in this. I honestly do, okay? And it had a, it had a really cool, it had a really cool ending in Skyline. Really cool ending, but I don't get. It. So yeah, so they so they took the so they, so they stole a scene from Skyline where a spaceship was sucking stuff up, you know, like a like a Skyline. They was sucking it was sucking people up in their ships. Yeah, here's this is practically the same thing. He said they suck up a lot of things like ships and some other stuff, you know. And then, and yeah, yeah, Stanley, and you have Stanley Tucci, Tucci who's yelling, who's being over the top and going, "Oh my God!" Honestly, okay, that 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 that, that part when when he's yelling, he was yelling, "Oh my God!" That made me laugh. Okay, I'll be honest on that. He's like, "Oh my God!" He's like, he's riding with riding with Mark Wahlberg, and he's going like, "Oh my God!" <laughs> Being so over the top on your, "Oh my God!" Oh no, nah, uh -uh. oh my God! That that this is. If anyone's thinking of the, "Oh my God." If you think of if you think of one if you think of a film that's going oh my god you probably know what it is because I, I I am not gonna say it. I'm not talking about that film oh my god see I there, there, there I go again oh my god I and then uh, was it um and let's see um. Yeah, um, where, where, what else did I wrote here? Da, 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 da. And then, of course, and then, and then they introduced uh, to the Dinobots, you know. And personally, don't care. I don't care about the uh, to me. Uh, yeah, the yeah the yeah Grim yeah Grimlock, which is the the, the Tyrannosaurus the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, uh, uh robot, you know, Autobot. Yeah, he may. Yeah, he looks cool though. But I, at the same time, I don't care. I don't care about Grim. Like I don't care about the Dinobots. I like I like dinosaurs, you know. But like I said, I don't. It may look cool to a lot of people. Even even my brother, he's like, he, he, when he first saw Grim, like, he's like my brother's like, oh my god, this is awesome, you know. To me, I I just don't care. I I don't care at all, you know. I know Grim is a popular character. I know. You know, but at the same time, I don't care. Don't care about the Dinobots, because yeah, that's probably the same thing. Add some, add some new human characters, and they add Dinobots to it. What do you do? They, those like okay, two changes. That was it. But at the same time, I'm still I'm still seeing the same thing as the previous as the previous films. I'm not impressed. You know. And and one other thing, you know, um. About one thing, another thing about Stanley, about Stanley um, Tucci. I think he, I think seeing him for him saying, "Oh my God," I, I'm, I'm guessing he's big. He's gonna be acting goofy. He's gonna act goofy like John Malkovich did in Dark of the Moon, you know, with his old karate, with his old karate, you know, stuff, you know, in number three, which is not, which is not funny, you know. So, and then, and also getting to, and then then getting into the second trailer. Once again, you see Stanley Tucci again. He's like in this lab. I think he's a, I think he's a scientist, you know. And he has somewhere how he has this metal that this new metal that's. I guess that's what from we guess what's um what the Autobots are made out of, you know. 
okay, it was just like, okay, I don't, okay, whatever, you know, who cares but what the Autobots are made out of, you know, okay, so what? I don't care, I don't care what they're made from, you know? And most of the second trailer, some of the same stuff, you know, um, some of the same, some of the same stuff, and, I see, and also you see Mark Wahlberg with a, what, like a, like an Autobot weapon that's like a gun. Now sometimes it looks like a, a sword. You know, it was like, yeah, it was like it was like a, it was like a gun. And it was like a sword. It was like boom, 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 boom. You know, and then it also had blades to it. And which I also read up as I think also thing also Mark Wahlberg is gonna star in in five and all in the upcoming uh, five and six Transformers films. Great. And then I'll, well, another ridiculous thing in the second trailer, I see an Autobot that has like a, a big beard and, he's, and he has a cigar in his mouth. He's like, if you seen the second trailer, there's, there's an Autobot going, oh, shooting, shooting a hand, like a handgun, and he has a cigar in his mouth with a be with a big beard. The jokes, once again, the jokes are not funny. I don't think there's this. No, I don't. I didn't find any of the humor in the Transformers films funny whatsoever. Okay, like in number, like in number two, Friends of the Fallen. You know, Sam's uh, Sam's mother with the pop brownies. You know, or 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 we or Wheelie. You know, you know the one that was with the remote control car who was being discovered to con decided to kind of now turn as a good bad bad to a good guy. Him, you know, humping Megan Fox's leg, you know, that's not funny. Or John DeToro, you know, you know, what was it? What he was rips his pants, you know, when his uh, seeing him in his underwear. Or seeing seeing a Decepticon, you know, like it was those it was those construction. It was those it was those construction um, vehicles uh, that morphed all together, you know. What was I think it was called Constructor Bots? I think I don't know. And you see, he has a two and two wrecking balls. As his balls, literally. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just getting tired of the humor. And and the number, and the number three, you know, you know, with John John, John Totoro with his um, his foreign ser associate or servant, you know, and the, uh, what another other humor, you know, with John Malkovich, you know, with his hoo -hoo -hoo, you know, doing all his kung fu crap, you know. Or the Asian guy, you know, the Asian guy who was, um, Ken Chong, whatever his name is, you know, who was in the, the three Hangover films, you know. You know, the whole, with this whole, with this, with the, with the double guns, like, oh, you want this or that, you know, just not funny, not funny whatsoever. This is Michael Bay, he has, has to stop with the freaking humor, which, I'm just. I'm, this is my. It's my opinion. What is. What is my. What is my opinion matter? My opinion does, doesn't mean crap to. To to them, you know. And then, yeah, and I see an Autobot with a cigar. But why does he need a cigar for? He's an. He's a robot. You know, he's not a human being. He needs to smoke. You know. With a big beard, you see, and also see that same Autobot throwing a freaking grenade. You know. Shooting a handgun. He's just, he's just like shooting a handgun, and he's throwing a grenade, and he's a, with a big beard. He's smoking a cigar. And also, and you see the, and you see another Autobot getting shot down. Everyone knows who knows that. Anyone knows who's that? That this uh, this Autobot is yellowish. A yellowish Autobot. That's wretched. Yeah, that's wretched. He's being, you see him being shot down. You see, I think you see him in the first trailer as well. See him in the first trailer as well, and you see him in the second trailer. That's wretched being shot. Even I even read uh, that's 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 it. Uh, that was him being sh being shot by humans. You know. And I'm like right, that's again that's the great that gave it away. Now I know he's gonna die in number in this fourth one. Ironhide died number three cause by a Sentinel Prime. He died in number three. He died in that film. Another main character from from number from the first film, you know, is gonna die now. Ironhide died, you know. Ironhide died, and now Ratchet's gonna Ratchet's gonna die. And also, oh wait, wait, also, wait, another thing. Also, in the first film, also in the first film, I see that a little Autobot, you know, has like twin guns. He's in the air and he has parachutes. Why would? 
Why would an Autobot need parachutes? Why? So he could do the slow-mo so he could shoot his guns? That's why he needs parachutes? This just looks a little, this also a little, looks another, another boring, another boring, over, I would say over two, two, two and a half hours, I would say, two and a half hours, it looks boring. The first hour, the first hour of, of Transformers 3 was boring, because I had no action in it. Mark Wahlberg, as I'm not a fan of, you know, the guy, the girl from Last Ember plays his daughter, whatever. Nothing to say. Um, Stanley, Stanley, Stanley Tucci, I like him as an actor, you know. And I also said that Kelsey Grammer is also going to be, I think he's going to be the human villain. Oh yeah, and also I read that, uh, I know those people are calling the same voice as Optimus Prime, and I also know that John, Good, John Goodman is going to be a voice, a voicing an Autobot. What else is there? Oh, um, let's see. Um, oh, um, uh, another, another another thing that uh, I, have, I have to I have to say that um, not only not only, not only I'm so tired of Michael Bay directing Transformers films, but um, Steven Spielberg he's the executive he's he's the executive producer he. He he was executive producer in all and all and all of these, including this new one. I love I love Steven Spielberg. He's one of my all time favorite directors. One of my all time favorite directors. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Steven Spielberg. You, you need to quit being executive producer for these Transformer films. I'm sorry. Like I said, I I love Steven Spielberg. You know, I love mo I love most of his films, especially his most his most uh, most the ones he's mostly famous for, like Jaws, Jurassic Park, E.T. and all that stuff. You know. Um, but he, but he, he, he needs to stop, he needs to stop being executive producer, because, I know, I know he's, uh, was it, was it Transformers 2, or was it Transformers 3? Because he's, because I, because I, 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 I listened on the, on, on the commentaries on, on one of those films, and, and I also have, I also, I also read this, um, that, uh, because, because all, all the times, because I always want to have a trans or anybody you know who's a, who's a fan of the Transformers films. You know, I'm tired of seeing humans as the main characters. I want to see, I want to see a Transformers film where it's just the robots, the Autobots are the main characters, no human characters. Okay, I don't want to see no Mark Wahlberg as the as the main character. I want to see Optimus Prime as the main character with the rest of his Autobots. You know. Have a have a have a Transformers film from an Autobots Autobots point of view, you know. But like I said, no, but no people in Hollywood they don't pay attention to fans, you know. But but Steven Spielberg, you know, he said, you know, because he's he, I listened to a commentary where he said that um I think it was either when Trans I think it was number two or number three, I can't remember. But um he was giving a statement about why was uh, human uh, humans were are um. Why humans are the, why humans are the main characters? He said that um, they have to have they want to have yeah, humans they want to need a, like a, a human a human identity a human identity I think you know it would be um, a human identity that would be privileged that would, that would be prevalent you know up um, up up front you know. I think that thing that Steven Spielberg always said. I I, I love Steven Spielberg though, but to me that's a that's a, that's a, stu that's a stupid thing to say. You know, that's to give the reasons why why I put humans as, as the as the main characters and putting the Transformers in the background in their own in their own movie, which is called Transformers for a reason. I think I think we're saying that because because it's because because of E because of E T. I think. Because you know, because you know of um, Henry Thomas who played Elliot in E.T. You know, but it was you know I know it's between the relationship between him and E.T. You know, though, but maybe that's the reason why he's saying in the commentary. <sighs> Steven Spielberg, 
I enjoy I enjoy E. T. I know, and it was one of its one of the most classic uh, science fiction slash films of all time. You know, but this is but trans there's there's a big difference between Transformers and E. T. There's a big difference there, Spielberg. But but like but but and like I said, when I did my my did my video of um what about when but when Bob Hoskins passed away. That Bob Hoskin starred in in, in in Spielberg's film Hook, and I said I said before that's one of the only that's one of the one of the few films that's, that uh, uh, Spielberg's films I did not like, you know. Uh, I was I uh, honestly I did not like Hook, you know. He had it has a great cast in it though, but that didn't matter, you know. I I just did not like I just did not like Hook. You know? I think that's one of the Steven Spielberg's uh, least or one of his one of his worst films, you know. So yeah, but but just because just because um, just because he made a stupid statement in the commentary, you know, in that commentary or or, or hook or hook, I did not like. Does that mean I like? Ste that doesn't mean I don't like Steven Spielberg. No, you know, Steven Spielberg. You know, no, 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 nobody's perfect. You know, I ain't perfect. Any, and none, and nobody's perfect. You know, but that's that's just one of the things. You know. This is one of the things I need. I just wanted to say, you know. So that's why I say Steven Spielberg, you know, stop being an executive producer for these Transformer films. Okay, I'm getting tired of it though. Mind you, yeah, I, I, which I'm, I'm glad he's gonna be executive producer for the upcoming Jurassic, Jurassic World though, which I hope will be good after waiting almost 15 years for, you know. Because he was executive producer for Jurassic Park 3, and I absolutely love Jurassic Park 3. So, just being a go being I know he is, but be just be executive producer in that film, Jurassic World. Not not no more of these um, Transformer films. And it's, and it's, and and and, and me will say Michael Bay, Michael Bay needs to start needs to start directing these Transformer films, you know. And when also when I looked up, you know, in, and when I look it up here at um in casting, you know, um. I also said the rumor that Jason Statham was going to be in it. Okay, you know, Jason Statham. I was uh, Jason Statham in a Transformers film. I would like to see that. Take out Mark Wahlberg, though. I'm not a fan of Mark Wahlberg. I'm more a fan of Jason Statham than Mark Wahlberg. I absolutely love, really enjoy Jason Statham in a lot in a lot of films, you know. And I would I rather I rather see him in the lead than Mark Wahlberg. But no. And I also also reading up there was other um there was other directors that wanted to direct this film instead of Michael Bay. Um uh see here, um the, uh, Steven Summers, the director of um, the Mummy. Director of the Mummy and The Rising. The Rising, one of his best films right there. He he was we were gonna be directed directing other films, um David Yates. David Yates who directed um one of the a uh, couple of the final Harry Potter films, you know, Deathly Hallows Part, um, Deathly Hallows Part One and Part Two. I think he also directed um, Half Blood Prince and Order of the Phoenix. I think he directed those films. I know he directed Part One, Part Two, the De Deathly Hallows. I think he also directed Order of the Phoenix and Half Blood Prince. So, although um, David Yates, he was also going to set up to direct um, John um, John Tur Letnub. Um, the guy who directed a uh, hot, uh, hot tub time machine, um, uh, Lou, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Johnston, Joe Johnston, the director of Jurassic Park Three, um, Captain America, um, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, Rocketeer, Jumanji, you know, he, he yeah, another one. I would like honestly, I would, I, enjoy, I enjoy Joe Johnston as a director, you know, especially Jurassic Park Three. I'd rather have him than Michael Bay. Um. Louis, uh, Louis, Louis Latier, the director of um, Trans uh, Transport One and Two, The Incredible Hulk, and Clash of the Titans. You know, that that see right, that's another thing. You know, Louis L Louis Latier, he directed Transport One and Two, also starring Jason Statham. You know, that would have been good. You know, him him directing and having once again using Jason Statham in, in one of, another one of his films. Th there you go. You know, that would have worked. You know. And also, and also another one, Roland Emmerich. You know, 
Roland, Roland Emmerich. I would like to see Roland Emmerich direct a Transformer film, you know? You know, his, his best film, you know, Independence Day, you know? Um, um, well, he directed 2012, and White House Down, White House Down, that was, that was the surprisingly another film that I liked in 2013, you know? White House Down. Um, Universal Soldier, and and one of my all-time and one of my all-time favorite films, Godzilla, which that film gets so much shit, you know. And I and also and I know that Roland Emmerich he had he said he had regrets of making the film, you know. And I know he said he apologized for making the for making the film to, um, for critics and fans, you know. And which I do understand, you know. I understand when a film that gets so gets um um gets poorly received by critics and fans, you know. And he said to if he says if he apologizes, I understand that though. But for me personally, I understand why he has. I understand why he doesn't have regrets of making Godzilla because I absolutely love uh, his 1998 Godzilla film. I do. I really do. I think it's criminally underrated. You know, and I don't. I, I, I don't think it doesn't deserve so much shit than well than was back in the day. And I don't think it is now. You know, or I don't mean to say it, I don't think it is. I still. I still don't understand though. But. Probably, maybe, probably, you know, like Roland Emmerich, probably don't like Roland directing this film, because maybe because he did, because of the way he did Godzilla. I don't know. I'm just saying. So, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I would, I would, I would, I would rather, I'd rather see, I'd rather see Roland Emmerich or Roland Emmerich, you know, directing that film, directing this Transformers film, rather than Michael Bay, you know. You know, Michael Bay, he needs to, he needs to, he needs to get out of directing Transformers films. He needs, to, he needs to get out, and you know, I rather put I rather put Roland Emmerich or Joe Johnston or Louis Latier as because I, I, I don't see David well I don't see see David Yates or Steven Summers or John Torello directing a Transformers film. I rather see Joe Johnston, Roland Emmerich, or Louis Latier directing those films, directing this this new Transformers films. Re replace Mark Wahlberg with Jason Statham. I rather see Jason Statham with trans in the Transformers films, but. Everly, that's, that's it's not it's, it's it's never happened. So, <sighs> I, I don't know what to say. Look, I'm in for, for, 42, 42 minutes in talking about you know talking about you know what what my thoughts on you know for this Transformers film Age of Extinction and also really enough um what uh, um. Uh, Matt, aka Rambo Ref for Life. I um a while back, yeah, a while back he he also did a trailer reaction, you know, and he said he said that the um, the, the title for Transformers films Age of Extinction. He said it feels it feels like it sounds like a song from the eighties. <laughs> to be honestly, that to be honestly, that does Age of Extinction does like a sound like a song that's from the eighties, you know. I, I can I can just see it I can just see it already in my mind. I I can just see it already in my mind like. Age of Extinction, you know, from the '80s, and I and, and I and I like and I liked his and I liked his um, video for the tra for the tra his reaction, his his thoughts on the trailer for Transformers 4, you know. Good review, Matt. You know. So, but so so that's what I have more to say. I'm already. Now, now it's almost four four minutes in talking about this. Film, so, am I am I gonna see this at theater? No. If my if my brother, I know my I know my brother is gonna see it. I know I know he wants to see it though. I I guarantee he's gonna he's gonna force me to see it with him. If 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 he if he makes me see it with him, I'm I'm gonna I'm making sure he pays for my tickets. I am wasting my money on this. Okay. Because I've seen a lot. Because I've seen a lot of. This is I've seen a lot of disappointing films, you know. Well, I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna be disappointed a lot of films for this upcoming summer, especially the new Ninja Turtle Ninja, Ninja Turtles film, you know. Because you know I know I'm gonna be really mad about that because compared to that film, which is obviously can kick the shit out of that film. Or even other thing. I, I what what films I was. There's a lot of films coming out in the summer, you know. What films do I consider as better? They can be better than this film. 
most of them I would say probably not. <laughs> but I will say one thing. Um, Godzilla, you know, the new the new gods the, the new Godzilla film. As much as, you know as a lot of people as a lot of people are are complaining are complaining about, you know, about showing less of Godzilla, you know. You know, and cutting and cutting and, cut, and, and cutting away a lot of battle sequences, you know. As, you know, but as much as those people are complaining, you know, I, 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 and I honestly do see the, see the, the lot of the, the nit, a lot of the things up that, that's in that film, you know, that's, a lot of things that's wrong in the new Godzilla film, though. But overall, I made it, I made it, I made it, I'll say, and I, I'll, 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 no matter what, if it's disappointing or not, you know, whether I love it or not, I will, uh, I said I will like this film. I will like the new Godzilla film, no matter what I see. Even saying that though, I would still say this uh, the new Godzilla film is better than this new Transformers film. I can also say I can also see Godzilla crushing all you know, crushing everyone in that all the robots in, the, in this new Transformers film, you know. Now I'll honestly say I would say this new Godzilla film is better than the new Transformers films. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna put how I'm gonna put it, you know. So Maybe maybe that's maybe that'll be the only film I, uh, this summer I would say is better than this new Transformers film, because at least at least Godzilla wasn't directed by Michael Bay. Otherwise, it would have put stupid humor in that film as well. You know. Another thing I would say, well, but one of the one of the directors, you know, was supposed to be direct this film. At least they would not use stupid humor that's been throughout the, the entire franchise. You know, I I would never see Roland Emmerich using this this type of humor in his. I never saw it in any. I never saw it in any of his films. You know, yeah, he had, especially in God, especially in Godzilla, which Hank Azaria was a real fun character. He was actually funny in that film. You know, I could see Roland Emmerich make a film, make this kind of film, without using any of the dumb jokes in it, the dumb humor. But all right, that's well, that's what I'm. I'm, I'm stopping. I'm stopping right here now because I'm, I'm going on too long. Just, just sharing my thoughts of this new upcoming Transformers film. So yeah, bottom line, I I will not I will not see in theaters if my brother forces me or drags me to the theater there, which is gonna be which is very laughable, you know. But I was still wouldn't I still will not see it. It looks it looks way too long and boring, you know. I'm not, I'm, I don't care. I'm, I'm not a fan of Mark Wahlberg. I don't you know I don't care about any other other human characters. Not even not only really Stanley Tucci, you know. Octopus Prime getting beaten once again. Even this also, not only in the second one, one thing really quick. Even though we, we see him get shot though, get shot in the chest by that robot. Even in this, even in the second trailer, you see him get beaten some more by another Autobot. Once again, he gets thrown against a wall and he gets kicked. Why is why are they trying to make Optimus Prime such a wimp? You know, he's not a wimp, but they're making him like a wimp. I don't know what I will say so, but no matter no matter what, I guarantee, I guarantee this is I like uh, number three, Dark of the Moon that made over a billion dollars. I wouldn't be surprised if this film makes over a billion dollars. You know, all these films were major hits, and number three made over a billion dollars. Surprisingly, you know, so I wouldn't be surprised if this film makes over a billion dollars, or even or even more than or even more than number the number three. You know, it's gonna be a big hit no matter what, because it's a Transformers film. So, the more money it makes, the more sequels they're gonna make. So, even though all three films earned had a Golden Razzie Razzie nominations and won some, you know, like number two won for for, for worst picture and worst director, you know. And I also think for, and I also think for worst actress, I think. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if this film gets negative gets negative reception and gets negative feedbacks and I wouldn't be surprised if this film gets nominated for 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 Razzies, you know. But like I said, it's still it's still gonna be a big hit no matter what. So anyway, that's my over my fifty minutes you could say fifty minute thoughts on this new Transformers film, Transformers Four: Age of Extinction. Not interested and I don't care. And it looks like, it, and I know what they're like. It's gonna, it's gonna suck anyway. So, 
So thanks for watching. Take care, and if you if you make it throughout this, just please leave your comments. You know, I'll probably I know I'll probably I'll, I know I'll probably piss a lot of people off, but it's your and I know it's in and I know you have rights too though, but my I'm I'm not I'm not but I'm not wrong for my opinion. You know, I know people are gonna like it, and I know people are gonna disagree with me, and I know a lot of people are gonna are going to agree or disagree with me. So. Please feel free in the comments. I'll I'll look them up. You know, I'll 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 say you're not wrong for your opinions. You know, uh, but I'm not wrong for my opinion. So, so thanks for so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, movie review. Later.